Alright, so this is a tutorial for the 540 kick. Alright? What a 540 kick is, is basically a hyper tornado kick. So if you don't know what a tornado kick is, go look it up. There are other tutorials for that. I have one myself, or you can find another one, whatever. Learn tornado kick first. You have it. You need it for the 540. Okay? So, first I'll show you what it looks like, then I'll run through the steps and hopefully address some things that aren't often talked about in 540 tutorials. There are a lot of them out there, but I think some of them, there are some things that aren't often explained. Alright? So I'll get to that. First, the 540 kick. Looks like that. You'll notice what I essentially did. Step, like you're going up for a tornado kick, but as the kick comes around, you land on your kicking foot before the non-kicking foot lands. In a tornado kick, you come over, you notice the non-kicking foot lands first. In a 540, the kicking leg lands. All right, let's go through the steps. One of the important parts of getting your 540, as opposed to just the tornado kick, is how you generate power. So from here, swing your arms down and up. There are two parts to this. One is the cheat setup coming up here, and two, the arms. All right? So basically what your arms are doing here is they're swinging down and up in front of you. This is generating your momentum. It's giving you lift. As for the cheat setup, something that's often ignored, what people try to do is they'll step across and switch their feet. But that's not generating any power. What you want to do is kind of kick the second leg into the air here. If you've ever seen like those uh, physics toys where the balls hit each other, transfer the momentum, that's exactly what you want. Here, step down, kick up. So from here, swing, step down, kick up. And when you come around, bring your arms in tight, just like a gymnast, all right? Here, step, kick. From there, you want to get your hips to turn over so your kicking leg will land first. And continue to spin back, facing where you started. Again, from here, the arms are going to come over the top. They don't have to be exactly like that. They can come across loosely. But the point is, you're going to generate momentum and then bring it in tight to your body to get the spin. And the feet, it's going to kick. You want to cut slightly inward. If you're stepping forward, you're going to go forward instead of up. So, you want to come somewhat inward at an angle. From here, step, swing, kick. 